I believe it was in 2016, the Indiana Chamber of Commerce put out a report that a, one third of our state is unskilled. That's a lot. And so as I've had conversations and had meetings with different industries, different businesses, this is a huge concern for them. They're looking at their future workforce and realizing that they're going to have a problem getting people that are ready to go. A perfect example of this is Arcelor Middle, which is in my home city of East Chicago, Indiana. I've met with them and had this conversation. 50% of their workforce can retire now. If you're Arcelor, that's a scary thought. So anything we can do to increase the amount of people that can get education, that can get trained, that can get skilled, is going to be beneficial for our state as a whole. There are multiple things going on with the piece of legislation that I filed about in-state tuition for undocumented students. Uh, yes, it will help our undocumented students. It will give them an opportunity to continue their education. We have, as a state, already invested lots of money into their K-12 education, so why not continue that in terms of the university to build up what our young people can do, how they can improve the lives they live, and give back, really, also. The other side of it is it really is beneficial to other people other than the students. It will also benefit universities. The reality is our universities have empty seats. So it's a situation of, yes, they won't get necessarily the full out-of-state tuition rate, but they'll get in-state, which will then increase the amount of people that can go to college. That's the reality, whether you're an undocumented student or someone who was born and raised in this country, the reality is going to college, going to a university is expensive. So anything we can do to make it easier will help the university as well because you get more seats in it. And it's a definite benefit for our workforce, our skilled, our talent in this state of Indiana. We need to make sure that people are involved. You know, the other part is we have our undocumented community, they work, they pay taxes. The more they make in terms of their careers, the more taxes they will actually be able to pay into the system. So there's, there's actually more give back than there is take. Um, our undocumented students, they don't get state or federal aid, so they have to work to fund their college education. So when you look at this as a whole, it really is a benefit for our state.